having a 20 year old son's great because yep. you get a real insight into it and stuff so um so you can kind of brush ideas past him and he goes oh for fuck's sake dad not that again you know <laughs> or actually you're onto something i think there. i'm looser than he is i think he's the guy running the show you know he's, he's the brains <laughs> he's of the keeping oper- you in check he's the brains of the operation <laughs> uh, look he was my campaign manager too and gee we had really fun. yeah he was that's like, awesome he's been around politics since he was six years old so my first campaign started in 2004 for the 2006 election mm-hmm. and i'm driving around going okay let's and he's, he's sitting there with a map um, and he's six and i said we're going to go to old norlunga now he goes old norlunga not in the electorate i said of course it is everything on the eastern side of south road from woodcroft down to mclaren Vale was in the electorate he goes dad it's not in the electorate i said yeah it is he goes dad pull over pulled over he shows me the map we go see the line goes i go you're right, mate. And uh, Pat, Pat, <laughs> from that moment on, you're just listening to him. And, and Pat Conlon, who was uh, who was my boss at the time, because I was his chief of staff, as yep. uh, when he was infrastructure minister, he used to say to Connor, he goes, "Your dad's just keeping the seat warm for you, son." He goes, uh, "You're the brains of the operation." So it's been a bit of a joke, but it is it is great. You know, he's a he's a great fella, and um, you know, it's it's nice to do. And he and he's doing international studies and economics at Adelaide, and he's always been interested in politics and he's doing yep. Chinese and stuff like that. So it's really good to see his insight and his view of the world. And um, Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I love hanging out with the, the young crew. You know, they just... You, you were in a bit of trouble about your uh, your core flute signs and all of that stuff, having the, uh, having yeah. the wrong colour or something How like that. How bizarre is that? How's, how bizarre? You know that you're in a cha- in with a crazy chance of winning the unwinnable seat. When it comes down to that. When the, on the Monday, it was a public holiday, it was Adelaide Cup Day, that you had Nick Xenophon and Stephen Marshall having a crack at me for using the colour blue on my posters. Now, that's just a point of difference. Yeah. And that's just in the last week of an election, you know, instead of just having my ugly head on the stovey poles, put a message up there. So I had, you know, standing up for my ponga, Leon Bignall MP, Leon lives here throughout McLaren Vale. Leon yep. Bignall MP. And they were blue. And I'll tell you, it was as easy as I've still got the text exchange because Connor was sitting at, you know, in his bedroom probably and I was in the lounge. I don't know where. No, he was probably in the office. And, and he, he texts me through and he goes, I said, I just want them black and white just so they really stand out because, you know, there's so much noise on all the stoby poles and people yeah. are driving yeah. cars. You want the message to be like that, short, sharp. And uh, I've used blue since 2004, since my first campaign. My business cards are blue. My office is blue. My letterhead's blue. Is there any reason blue. behind the colour or it's I, just... I, I hate red. My favourite colour is blue. <laughs> there you go. And that's a good enough reason. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I've never had any, any red stuff. And, um, you know, and blue's a soothing colour. And um, so, you know, it was as simple as, you know, you're, you're hectic, you're doing all of these things, you're working 20, 21 hour days. And he goes, what about the blue and white? I'm going, yeah, do that. And yet... Stephen Marshall and the Liberals and Nick Xenophon and his crew were trying to beat it up some conspiracy that I was trying to cheat my way in. No one owns the colour blue. No. no one owns the colour red. It's use whatever colour you want. It's nice to have credit from being like some type of evil mastermind. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I was I've the, got them with this one. I was at the races. I had to prevent the, present the Adelaide <laughs> Cup and I'd had a couple of sherbs, you know, during the day. Yep. And... Uh, <laughs> I was a bit unaware that all this was happening, so I'll present the thing, and then all the TV cameras are there go, can we interview? I'm going, yeah, and they go, oh, you're being criticised for these uh, these blue <laughs> posters. And I said, you know what? I've been using the colour blue since 2004, and I'm a true blue Labor bloke. And they ran it, they all ran the grab. It was probably, you know, when you win by 115 votes, who knows?